friends welcome back to my channel in today's video we are at michael's i'm going to be sharing with you a sneak peek of their spring decor for 2024. i found so many beautiful things that can help you decorate your home into a transitional style of decor then i'm going to share a few very nice finds that i looked at their floral section they're finds that can help you create a higher end designer look for less of course so if you if you enjoy this video i really hope you can consider hitting that red subscribe button down below following me on instagram for more updates all the time and without any further ado let's just go shopping I'm starting this video with the Vintage Heritage Collection. I found some beautiful rustic and transitional finds and some others that didn't make a lot of sense, but we're gonna talk about this in just a second. Starting with this gorgeous painting, I love the frame and the depth of the colors. You are going to see the full price for every item on the screen because none of this is 40% off yet. However, if there's anything that you want to get before the discount hits, you can always go to michaels.com and download their 20% coupon that you can use on any full price items. You just have to pull it up on your phone and show it to the cashier when checking out. These tobacco baskets have a different pattern to them and they're carrying two different sizes. You can use these to decorate any coffee table or even hang them off your wall. Then these abstract shaped mirrors which have that rustic frame to them and a faux leather cord to hang them off the wall and then these wooden trays that are ideal to place candles or create a nice and casual centerpiece. I thought these candle holders look way more expensive than what they are. They're heavy pieces and you can see the distress effect on the metal. These will be great for any console table. And speaking about table decor, I also found these distressed table decorations. They have that distressed wood look that is so trendy. Then these beautiful bud vases. You have two different shapes to choose from. Both are retailing for $10. And for those of you who love a farmhouse style of decor, this is a great find to either decorate a shell or your nightstand. I feel like pieces like these are a signature of Michael's, but I also think that combining them with different types of texture like metals or stone can give such a high-end look to your table decor. And this was another showstopper for me. Love the painting of the landscape. The only thing I didn't love about those is the texture or the material for the painting. You can definitely tell is a printed material so I wish the quality was a little higher for the price. I'm also showcasing these bird decorations here. D this collection has that about it that I quite don't understand. It has a lot of elements of nature like leaves and birds. It also has traditional elements like wood in that cherry wood tone or this grayish distressed wood tone, which by the way, this riser is gorgeous for plants or any other type of decoration you're fixing. But it also has some farmhouse elements like what we're seeing right here or some modern elements like what we see right here, which this is a wooden chain. And I do think that they're trying to cater to decorators that kind of want to go with different trends and styles. And I think that's because we're seeing so many different trends for interior design, like the transitional, contemporary, and farmhouse still going pretty strong. Let me know in the comment section down below what's your favorite type of home decor or interior design. Not necessarily a critic for this collection, just I don't find it very cohesive and I do think it was a little bit overdone in some of the items that I'm gonna share with you. And also after my latest Hobby Lobby video where I'm giving you a sneak peek of their spring decor collection for this year, I did get some feedback from some of you saying that everything that is worded or worded signs are so outdated and it's old stuff. And I just wanna know, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section as well. We are going to see some of those in this video but I promise you it's only a few. Okay this is a beautiful landscape. I don't love the frame but I love the landscape. We have some of these tabletop decor houses. They're made out of ceramic and they have the little touch of green kind of like to give it that spring decor vibe. This is a worded sign right here. I do think it's adorable but I understand that it's not for everybody. I do not think it matches the collection. These paintings are framed in almost what it looks like a vintage frame to me and then I also found 
down the storage books which are a staple for Michael's spring decor. As you can see they have a beautiful print. I love the landscape, I just don't love them in the book. I think it's a little bit overdone. I wish to see this kind of print however in the actual wall decorations. It'll look so beautiful. These are also luggages that will work as storage and they intend to look as a vintage piece. In my opinion, if you want a vintage piece, it's better to source for one. And I do have some items from this collection that I love, don't get me wrong, I feel like I'm being a little harsh right now. I'm trying to be honest just so I can give you a better perspective as to what to look for when you go to shop at Michael's. Then we saw some items that cater to a more tropical style of decor and they have a variety of those butt bases. We also have this red tan mini wooden basket which can be used for Valentine's Day if you do decorate for that day. This is another worded sign. I personally really like the font that they use and the combination of materials that they have. And this is a small little plate that you can use on your nightstand to place your jewelry. Of course, we will find a selection of glass vases and butt vases. This is what they got going on right here. They have three different colors. I really like the beige one. And then this is a butt vase that looks vintage. It has touches of gold and cream. And then this is a beautiful glass sign or wall decoration that I think it can be very well incorporated into a wall gallery. And then the birds. I'm um, honestly not too into these birds, but I understand some people may like them, so I want to be respectful if you do. These are heavy pieces, they seem to be very well done, and for the price I don't think it's so bad. So that's what I'm gonna say about that. I also found these vases right here that have some dimension to them, then some more birds. If I had to choose any of the bird items that I'm showing you today, it will definitely be the little paintings with that gold frame. I thought that those were absolutely beautiful. Then I found this semi-lumbar pillow that goes along with that tropical vibe in this collection. These wooden baskets, they come in two sizes. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a price for the smaller one. And then the wreath. This is the only wreath that they have for this collection. I'm not impressed because of the price. I always thought that Michael's wreaths are a little bit overpriced. This is a wall decoration that looks a little tropical and it goes well with those green tones that we've been seeing. And it looks like these are intended to be hung from the wall since they have that little cord right there. They're only almost like an ornament. I do think this is a great sign right here to incorporate among your plants and is a great message to remember every day to stay rooted, to stay with your feet on the ground. I also found these vases. I really like the gradient tone of that forest green. And then this wall rack with that unfinished color in the wood and then the black metal. I think it makes for a really nice contrast. I also found these planters in that beautiful copper tone, which I love. I think it's beautiful and it has that little frame so perhaps you can write on it. This is another wall decor piece and it's worded. I really like the font though and the whole concept of it. And then these potted faux plants, I really love the woven vase. I just don't love the leaves. They don't look very natural. And then this set for butt bases for $30, it's a set of five. This hanging garland with bells and that distress metal effect on the birds, I think it's actually very beautiful for $40. I wouldn't pay full price for it, but definitely on a discount, I think it'll look so beautiful on an outdoor area. And speaking about copper and distressed metal, these little houses right here can make for a nice decor piece on any table or shelf. And speaking of shelves, they also have these right here on that natural wood. This is another sign. I think it's adorable and I love kind of like the chipped wood effect that it has. And then this is a tray with another landscape. I don't like this. I love the landscape, I just don't like it in a tray. I do feel like it's a little overdone. 
Now let's move on to a very exciting part of this video, which is the floral section at Michaels right now. So I've been seeing a lot of designers use these spring blossom stems that they source from very expensive floral stores. Michaels has very nice looking ones for $10 a stem. And with just a few, you can definitely give so much height to any vase and such a sense of elegance in spring. These are, of course, the baby spreads and I know that it's better to have them natural but if you don't have them in your area yet because it's winter then this is a great option and for those of you who love lemons during the spring I think this is a very cute option right here that's how much you get per stem we really like when they combine different types of stems into or different types of florals into the same stem because it's almost like the work is done for you when creating arrangements. Also, this eucalyptus has a very natural color and I love the stems. They look very high and full. This is another option that I, I thought it was beautiful to create a more modern or contemporary arrangement. And then these, even though I don't love the gradient in the green, I love the shape of the stem and the shape of the leaves. I think this is a great deal for how much you get per stem. These, I thought they look super natural. I think they're adorable with the mini pears and they do scream spring. Then some more eucalyptus options. These are a little bit on the greener side, but it's a really tall stem, which it's really nice. These right here, you can buy a bunch of them and pair them with a distress vessel and they look so beautiful these right here i've seen at other stores that are a little bit more expensive i just wished that the shade or tone or hue of green was a little bit more natural but these right here are my absolute favorite they look so natural i'm going to go back to michael's and get a few of these definitely i also really liked this toned down olive stem with the little olives but there's a few to choose from when it comes to the color selection these are very affordable and very tall stems that again you can buy a bunch of them and create a statement piece with a vase these have a lot of movement and I love the fall but I don't love the quality I remember some of the leaves fell off as I was pulling it from the container these I love I think they're so feminine and so delicate and really love the color it does really look natural these are some more olive stems they have that bluish hue and I do wish this had more leaves considering the price now I'm, I have to go back to the cherry and spring blossoms this one right here was my favorite. I love how full the stems are and the little details with the leaves. This one is a little bit more simple, but same price. And that is going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below what was your favorite item that I share with you today. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I really hope I can see you in my next one. Bye.